So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to categorize as a diagram question. We obviously have a circle here. This circle looks like it has a diameter between U and X. And we have this other chord here between W and Y. And then Z looks like where these two points intersect. Again, I'm just you know surveying the diagram. I'm surveying the shape, which I advise you do as well. Just get a sense for what's going on before you start reading, before there's something that you read that may become tricky. So the, it does say figure not drawn to scale. I'm not sure how valuable that is, but it is there. So the question says, in the circle shown, point O is the center. Yep, we saw that. And the diameter UX bisects WY at point Z. Okay, so we see it, but I didn't realize that. So here, that means WZ, the length of WZ, or the distance between W and Z, is equal to the distance between Z and Y. Right, so these are equidistant because it's being bisected. The radius of the circle is 6. Okay, so that's also a good thing to know. So from the distance between O and U is 6. The distance between X, X and O is also 6. But you know what? I'm going to draw in something else here. I'm going to draw in O to Y because that's also a radius, and that would be 6. And I'm going to draw in O to W. That's also 6. Why am I doing that? Well, I am much more comfortable using triangle geometry than, you know, chords and radii and diameters. Um, and I, my experience tells me that, you know, it's, this may be likely that I need to make this into a triangle. Let's, let's figure it out and see. So the radius of the circle is 6. X, Z is equal to 2. Okay, so that means this is 2, which means then that from Z to O is 4. Okay. If WZ is the square root of X, WZ, okay, so that means this is root X, but that also means that Z to Y is root X because those two sides are equal, or those two lengths are equidistant. What is the value of X? All right, perfect. So I do, in fact, have a right triangle, right? And I'm going to just flip this around for you and say, well, if I were to draw this right triangle here, where this is Z, and this is O, and this is W, that I know that this is a right angle, I know that this OZ is four, and I would also know that Z to W is square root X. And I would know O to W is six, because that's a radius. Now, whenever I have a right triangle, I can use Pythagorean theorem, which means I could say that 4 squared plus square root of x squared equals 6 squared. Right, 4 squared is 16, square root of x squared is just x, and 6 squared is 36. So subtracting 16 from both sides gets me x equals 20. And there's my answer, x is 20. So keep in mind, this answer or the question really opened up, right? Let's say, you know, let's say I had not drawn that in there. Right, so this question really opened up when I drew those lines to make them right triangles. So just remember, you can you can add these things in, right? And even as a as a trick, as a strategy, I'd say anytime you have a circle question and a radius is given, the, the you know the length of a radius is given, make sure that you remember you can draw in radii anywhere you want that's beneficial to you. So drawing them in from O to W and O to Y actually made this extremely beneficial to me because it allowed me to now think of this from a right triangle geometry standpoint versus just looking at it as a diameter and radius and a chord.